guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be me showing you how I am achieved this two tips to two stand two twists and a half on natural hair. So if you want to see how I achieve this, stay tuned. And also remember to comment, like, and subscribe. So I'm starting off with spritzing the edges of the water because my hair is very old. And then I'm going to be parting like 5% down my head in the middle and then I'm going to also part down the side on both sides to achieve this look. So now here I'm just twisting the hair that I parted so it's not in my way and I'm going to do the same to the other side. So here I'm just spritzing more water on the back of my head so the gel will apply way easier and also in the front and the sides of my head so pretty much the whole perimeter. And then I'm going to be taking a little bit of my Eco Styler gel, you can use a lot if you like if you need to, I usually do, and I'm going to be putting it all around the per same part that I just spritzed the water. Then I'm just going to be brushing the whole perimeter that I just put the gel on up nicely so my puff will look good and sleek. Then here I'm taking my white scrunchie. You can buy them at the doll store, just cut them in half and then tie them. And I tie it there and then I push and tighten at the same time to where I get my puff exactly on the place of my head where I like it. And then I just push it up more and tie it in the back or the front. So here I did my puff first, but if you guys would rather do the twist first and then the puff, if that makes it easier, you can also do that too. But for me, it's easier to do the puff first, so... I'll be coming back later in the video to make the puff look more juicy and nicer, because right now it looks a little stiff. And so for the twists, we are just going to be taking them out and applying more Eco Styler Gel or Got To Be Glued, whatever you use edge control to them. And then I'm taking my brush and brushing it kind of like back so the twist will be exactly where I wanted to and the edges will just flow from where I brushed it. And then I'm going to be taking my comb and starting off with a little piece. So we're twisting, not braiding, so it's kind of like braiding but just with two strands. You just kind of like do the same thing as if you're doing a cornrow but not exactly a cornrow. Make sure you pull the front, like the baby hair parts of your hair, tighter than the back part so it won't come out of the twist when you're done and you'll have your edges in there and not like full grown baby hairs because that would just look weird. So here I'm pretty much just twisting it all the way, wiping like the white stuff off. That will actually dry like by the end, so don't worry, you won't be walking around with white things in your hair. And you can take a bobby pin or you can just tuck it under your um, elastic that you tied your puff with. Whatever works best for you. Right here I'm just tucking it under because I was too lazy to get a bobby pin. So yeah, and then you do that to the exact same to the other side.
now here I'm just taking some more eco sour gel on my finger and toothbrush and doing my little baby hairs. So you don't have to do this if you don't want to, but my puff was looking a little lopsided, so I'm just taking my pick and puffing it out a little bit, making sure it's kind of like circular to how I like it, and puff taking that really long piece of hair that's out on the side, I tuck that in after, so don't worry. Oh, man. 